morning. We are here at the Dolly Varden Mine Gulch. There's a old wreckage of the Dolly Varden Mine just behind me here. And then we are going to be heading up a drainage, fairly narrow but fairly shallow, and there is just a thin spit of snow. So I am going to AT ski up. This is all on the base of Mount Bross. Because today we are going for the Decalibron. It is the only narrow tongue of snow extending any distance up Mount Bross. The Decalipron will include Mount Bross, Mount Lincoln, Cameroon, and Democrat. So we've got a big day ahead of us, although this is totally non-technical and I'm hoping the skis actually help, although anybody's guess is just more equipment to carry and play with. I will be leaving them at the top of Valley Varden Gulch, so that, that should help. Making great time up this little tongue in the Dolly Varden Gulch. So that's going great. Definitely excited about the free ride down too. Very cool. And just a beautiful morning up here at the foot of Mount Bross. Now on site, skins are holding well. Rock finding has been a no-brainer. I am getting near the top of the gully proper. And there was just that one right hand turn, climber's right hand turn dog leg up the gulch that you can see right behind me there. Going surprisingly fast. So I think the skis are actually gonna pay off this time. And here's what we got left. Right there. A little trouble sticking even with the good skin, so but it's happening. Hill elevators on full blast as well. Ooh. All righty, I have just gotten rid of the ski equipment, barring the poles, they're gonna help. And we are right at the top of the Dolly Varden Gully, or Gulch. And so I'm just pushing my way up. I, I did want to finish out on the snow, but it got so soft and slushy, it was actually starting to become too slippery with the skins sliding away with the top layer. So that was a moment, but it's all good. And this is what we're looking at. Just pushing up the old mining area. And then down there to the right, you can even see an old mine and some of the ruins. And beautiful vistas. Down to the right is Alma, Colorado. I'm up here on Mount Bross and it is beautiful, particularly to the west. And the most exciting peak, Mount Democrat, is right there. To be totally honest, I'm not sure which two those are, but definitely Cameroon and somebody else. So hopefully you enjoy these views from the summit. And we will be getting on to a couple other awesome summits here in the very near future. This turned out to be pretty, pretty easy actually. So, uh, especially considering I haven't been in altitude in quite some time. And I still feel pretty good, so we're gonna just run right along, heading that way. And away we go. And again, there's Democrat. On our 
way to Lincoln over there on the right. Well, down below is the main trailhead, I would say, for the area. That's Kite Lake. And Democrat off to the right. Over here, just a little bit. And really a beautiful scene as we approach Cameroon Point. Here we are on the summit of Mount Lincoln now, Cameron behind us. And then off to the right is Mount Bross, the not as attractive dirt and rock pile. Way back in the distance, you can see Mount Democrat. That is gonna be the next stop. So here we come. Beautiful cirques all around. We have officially left Lincoln and are making our way up Cameroon Point and it is exceptional. Heading for the saddle between Cameroon Point and Mount Democrat now. Ever closer to Democrat, a nice view of the saddle between Democrat and Cameron Point. And it's actually really a little closer than it seems. I am not in the greatest shape, particularly for altitude, just because I haven't been over. 10,000 feet quite a while, but it really hasn't been bad anyway, just because it's quite friendly and the distances look ominous and they're tough, but they're doable. So that's my two cents. We are gonna just shoot on up this trail. 
We'll do a hat trick, three summits for the day. Final summit push for Mount Democrat, the last of the three summits. And it's it's the coolest one I think, so that's awesome. We got some great views into that cirque there off to my right. Really amazing. Behind me is gonna be the long trudge back. Vastly longer than it would be just going straight down here to Kite Lake. A little sad about that, but I just wanted to get one last skiing trip in before the end of the season. Just got a little ways to go here. As much as that sub summit's a little daunting, it's really not much further whoa, than the views. See for themselves. That's for sure. Wow, wow, wow. Out to the west there is awesome. Okay, well I'm not going to dally too long. A little snack and drink and then we've got a long plow ahead of us. Back up Cameroon Point. Which is right there over my right shoulder. So, it's not done yet, but just one more climb. Please like and subscribe. Oh, I'm going to be doing all kinds of cool trips. Mostly in the big mountains now. Desert's getting too hot, so I really like a variety of adventures. I encourage you to subscribe and find out all the cool stuff that I've been researching over the last year. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next. Oh yeah. I'll definitely take that a few hundred feet. Awesome. That was really good. Wow. I wish I was going down there. It's a good idea to keep an eye on the weather and the clouds. And it does look like I'm going to have a little bit of crappy weather. Probably a teeny bit of drizzle. And if I had seen a lot of vertical cloud development, like that cloud in the middle of the frame, I would be concerned if that was tall. Because that's how lightning forms, with uh, friction due to big vertical movements in the sky. So it, it really isn't puffing out very much. It's not a very tall cloud. They are falling out, but... Me getting sprinkled on is, is going to be fine, but if you do see towering clouds that are twice as tall as they are wide, it's probably time to get to lower elevations. This little slide fest coming up should be good. truck that was a tough trip just the length really there was nothing technical about it if you are going to be doing the decalibron definitely just do the standard approach unless your whole goal is to ski and have a really big day i'd say this was more like the decalibros since i did summit bros twice as well as cameron point and yeah it was a lot of work i'm gonna guess it was almost 5,000 vertical feet and probably 12 miles um, but i don't know that all i know is I feel pretty tired, but it was a good day. All is well, beautiful place. 
So I uh, encourage you to come out here and check it out.